How's it, brother? It's very good seeing you today. Tell you what, for next week, I want you to be able to exhibit three things for me. I want you to be able to sit in this chair and hold your ukulele for the whole practice. I think we've gotten a little off basis by trying to incorporate piano as well. I think you are extremely talented and that by playing on the piano, you're going to get better musically. But what I want to do is focus this idea and put it into practical use with the ukulele and the piano. So what I've been having you do by doing the C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, C, it's the same thing here. C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, C. The thing that we're working on is a correlation with our spider exercises, yeah? Being able to go from one side to the other and being a continuous nature. What I'm finding is that you would like to do these exercises, but you want to do them at super top speed. And what happens is you can't go as fast as you'd like to go if you haven't actually practiced it at a slower pace so your fingers know what they're doing. It'd be like getting into a, into a car and putting in a drive and expecting just to drive your first time. It's a little awkward. Sure, you could do it, but you're gonna hit a couple road bumps along the way. With ukulele, it's the same thing. I just don't want you to form bad habits. So this week, the takeaway is your new chord is a D minor. Now here we go. If you play a D minor, you're gonna play it with this note, which is an F, the C, which is open, and then the A string, and it looks like that. However, if you play the fifth fret and play the C string, the E string, and the A string, but not the G string. That's a D minor. Yeah? So what we have is another way to play this chord right here. All right? So the song we were doing was D, uh, C major, D minor, F major, back to C three chords, right? So you can mix them up. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Here's a little song I wrote. Hope you learn it note for note, but don't worry. Be happy. C major, D minor, here's our F major, back to C. So our other D, we can do C major up to D minor, down to F major. Either way, that new chord is going to be great because we can put it in new songs, okay? Next week, we're going to concentrate, sit in the seat. We're going to play the ook the whole time rather than playing around the piano. And we're going to do this song and add one more song on. Now, look at my eyes. I want this to be fun for you. So you and I need to communicate better on how this can be more fun. If you want to do a little bit more collective note searching and like talk about our chords, that'd be wonderful. We can also do a little section from our book, okay? So next week, we're going to come in here. We're going to get a half an hour's worth and we're going to play our D minor and our D minor, both the same. Also, you could also do an E minor and an E minor, or a C major and a C major. All these chords have two or three different ways to play them. We're just gonna do it, go and do a review. Remember, this should always be fun. And if you have any songs that you like, like the Mickey Mouse Club song, bring it to my attention. Maybe I can try and learn it. I'm gonna look for that this week, and then I'll bring it to the table next week. Whoa, almost dropped my uke. It's good seeing you. Aloha.